Hello again. I'm back with an, uh, another ROM review. Uh, this is for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. Uh, and the tablet that I own is the GTN uh, 5110 or the Wi Fi only version. Um, this ROM is Cyanogen Mod uh, 12.1, the latest build. Uh, I believe this is October 5th. And um, unfortunately, there are not that many builds for this tablet anymore. It seems that we have lost um, interest in the development community, uh, which is a shame because this is still a very, very viable tablet. Uh, I use it a lot. Uh, I gave my second uh, GTN 5110 to my grandson, uh, so I'm left with one now. Um, and he uses it hard. Um, and I keep it updated uh, with Cyanogen Mod, of course, because this is really, uh, you know, from what I can tell from my testing, um, the only ROM that has, or that is super stable and super dependable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. This isn't going to be a very long video because there's not much to this uh, ROM. I mean, it's Cyanogen Mod. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, if you are used to running uh, any CM uh, ROM in the past, then you'll know that there's not much difference with this. Uh, we will go to About Tablet. I'll let you see. Um, we are running Cyanogen Mod uh, 5.1.1. Um, I will go ahead and let you see that we have the Lollipop logo. <laughs> Uh, and, of course, if you would continue on, you have the game. Um, the build I am on right now is August the 3rd. So I am on 10.3 10, uh, 10 uh, nightly build. Um, if you notice, I am running uh, Bofla Kernel. Uh, it is built by, uh, at least ported for this tablet by Zane Zam. Uh, and I am using his uh, U600. Uh, optimized uh, version of it, uh, or test version, I should say. Um, it was just released uh, not too long ago. Uh, so that is the version of the um, kernel that I'm using. Uh, yes, I could use standard Cyanogen Mod kernel that comes with Cyanogen Mod, um, and you wouldn't have any problems at all. But uh, I like to overclock slightly. Um, to increase the performance of the tablet. I know I lose some on my battery performance, but uh, with what I do with the tablet, I need that little bump or increase in performance. Um, let's get into it. Uh, here are your developer options. Uh, you have your advanced reboot. Uh, and then, of course, your, of course, your root access. If you want a uh, super user on this or super su, uh, you, you are going to have to uh, download it uh, from the Play Store and install, of course, I recommend just downloading the zip and flashing it in recovery. But uh, the super user that comes with this works, it works fine. Now, for some programs like tit Titanium Backup, um, it is not going to function sometimes for some people. I've actually had issues with it. Uh, that is why I... Always flash um, um, Chainfire's uh, Super Su uh, with a ROM that comes with uh, a you know a built-in uh, super user like this. Anyways, uh, back to the ROM. Uh, as you can see, everything else in here is basically the same. Uh, you can also notice that under my Windows animation scale. I have that set to zero, my transition at zero, and my animator duration scale set to zero. Uh, I was working with a few things. I wanted to have that back so I could gain as much as I could uh, with speed and fluidity. Um, you don't have to change that. I haven't seen any lag at all with it running at where it's set. So uh, you can leave that where it's at. Uh, difference. I'm trying to think of anything that is different on this. Uh, here's your language and input. 
pretty much the same. Uh, date and time. Um, it does not come uh, set with the 24-hour format. It does come set uh, with the uh, AM, PM, or 12-hour format. There, here's, here's all your accessibility options. Uh, let's see here. Let's just run up the left side first. Uh, here's your privacy not uh, settings. Uh, you have your privacy guard settings. You can set that. I normally do. Um, I, I just enable it by default. And then I run through and I pick certain apps that I either trust or I want to run all the time and uh, have certain permissions and grant them. That's how I do mine. Uh, and then you have your signage and mod statistics where you can turn on or off. Uh, I don't know why it's enabled. I don't want it enabled. <laughs> uh, but that's where you would get to that. Um, apps. This is where you would go, of course, to check all your at your downloaded apps and, uh, you know, delete them or move them. or That's where you would go for that. Uh, here are your status bar settings. Uh, your clock style, um, pretty much uh, standard affair there. Then you have your AM, PM, your battery stylus, percentage, and then you can set brightness control by sliding your finger across the status bar if you so choose, and uh, your show notification count. Uh, and of course, home is just for your launchers. That's how you switch between your launchers really quickly, uh, which is actually pretty cool. I, I like them having this in here. If I want to go to my Google Now launcher, I just tap it, press the home button, and it will take you to the Google Now launcher. You just say, okay, Google. <laughs> uh, apparently, I don't have it set up yet. But let's go ahead and get back into this. I want to go to Nova Launcher. All right, now under notification drawer, uh, there's your quick pull down, uh, weather settings, here's your tile settings. Again, this is signage and mod. There are not that many tiles here to choose from. Pretty sure I have them. No, I don't have them all. If you want to add something, you click on it. It puts it on there for you. If you, want, if you don't want something on there like ADB over network, press and hold. Pull it to the delete, it's gone. But this is what I have set up right now. And this is pretty much what's left. I do want that on there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, then you have just, you know, your setting for uh, to enlarge the first row. Uh, then you have your uh, hide sensitive tiles when locked. Ah, excuse me, I needed a drink of soda. Uh, show brightness slider, absolutely. Uh, then advanced locations. Uh, I can't think of anything else really out uh, out left field on this because, like I said, I mean it, it's it's CM. Uh, CM is an awesome ROM. It is uh, it gets you away from that stock. Uh, Samsung, I, I just, I hate TouchWiz. Um, let's see here. And that's just my preference. I know a lot of people that love TouchWiz. Um, let's go into sounds. These are your sound settings. Uh, here are your, uh, these are your sounds that come with Signage and Mod. I mean, it's not bad. I think, you know, there's there there's plenty to choose from here. Now, uh, if if I wasn't showing this video off, which I'm going to do here pretty soon, um, I will go into, uh, I have some saved from other ROMs. I'm just going to go ahead and put the notifications in that I like in this ROM, uh, which is another reason I love Android, is because if you don't like it, 
and you know how to do it or do, or just you know do a little research you know that's what Google's for uh, you can figure out how to do it and like I said uh, you know if you don't like the notifications that are there put your own in um other sounds that's another one of the settings that um, you can uh, have more control in uh, I right I right now have the touch sounds turned off I usually have them on uh, I do turn off my volume adjust sounds, uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, here's where you would enable your charging sounds when you plug in your cord. Uh, then you have vibrate on touch, and of course your vibration intensity. Um lock screen settings these are your lock screen settings not much uh, battery I know there's really nothing in here to mess with on the battery oh and I will say um, that given this is a tablet with a, uh, a 720p uh, display on it uh, Samsung's display uh, and I am pretty pretty hard on tablets the battery life is pretty good uh, it's not stellar but it's I've seen worse um, so you know this is a really good all-around ROM display and lights uh, there's your uh, brightness level you can set that I think at least it better be oh it's on adaptive why there we go uh, brightness level uh, you have your live display if you want to change that uh, of course, this is uh, the Note 8, so it does not have the ambient. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have uh, the ambient sensor on it. It may. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. But there's your settings for your display and lights. Of course, you can change your LCD density if you want. Uh, I, I, like it, I like it where it's at. It really works great. Notifications, uh, your heads up. Um, really, and then if you want to filter your apps, uh, you know, if you want to filter the notifications, this is where you would do that at. And buttons. Uh, here is where I disable my backlights. Uh, helps with the battery life. If you have that checked. You're going to have your backlights showing for however long you decide to make it. Um, I usually just uncheck it and click OK. Uh, unless it's nighttime, then I'll have that on if you really need to. I can feel the back. I can feel the home button. I know where home's at, and then I know where the other buttons are at. But here's your power menu. I'm going to go ahead and put the sound menu or sound panel on that. Uh, home button wake, yes. Um, home button long press, I have that set for, I'll show you, my recents. And, of course, uh, the settings is the only thing that I have opened right now because I cleared everything earlier. Uh, then you can set up your menu button for anything you want. And I'll tell you, it does work. If you set it up for the camera to turn on, the camera comes on. So, Signage and Mod did a really good job. Uh, with this and this is an official build too. this is not an unofficial build and last but not least security uh, if you want to encrypt your tablet there's where you would do it at uh, your device administrators I am going to uncheck that uh, unknown sources uh, if you want to sideload uh, an, an app you're going to have to have that checked. And that is about it. Um, last but not least, we'll go into themes. And I will tell you right now, the theme engine on this works absolutely great. Uh, I've had no issues at all with this. Um, there is a new one out, fairly new to me anyways, uh, that I found that I like. Um, and it is from the next team, the ones that make all the, like the Blood Red, uh, the Blue Steel, 
um, and this is called Electric Cayenne, and I've really uh, I've grown to like the uh, the color and the look of this. So we're gonna go Style, and then we're gonna go Status Bar. See, I love the color. Update, and that's pretty much all I want to put on. I'm gonna click Home. Notice how it changed my clock date, or my clock color, and my Wi-Fi color, my battery color. Um, that's why I like those kind of themes. They color the icons where uh, some of the other ones just don't touch them. Um, of course, there's no dial around here to show you any of that, but I will show you what the Play Store looks like under that theme. This is the Play Store. Uh, Google Plus is done. That's what Google Plus looks like. Nice dark theme. Uh, I'm pretty sure Inbox is also themed. Yep. Uh, I think that's about it. Hangouts, maybe. Yes, Hangouts is themed. Nice. And then, of course, Google Search. And then there's your keyboard. And then if I was to change my home from uh, Nova Launcher to... Uh, and as you can see, here is what the settings look like. But say if I was to go to uh, Google Now Launcher... Click home. If I was to swipe left. Oh, okay, I don't I guess I gotta start it. I wonder why it's not uh, oh I know why I have it in landscape mode. Never mind. Uh this is what the drop down looks like under that theme. It's it's got that clear look to it. Uh but with that cayenne color. I'm gonna go back to Nova Launcher and click home. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you were the icons that I'm running. Uh, this icon pack is, I think it's called Neon Glow. Um, it is a, a really awesome icon pack. Yes, it's Neon Glow. Yeah, right there it is. Um, and uh, I will put a link uh, in the description for you to check that out at the Play Store as well. But uh, these are the icons for that and I haven't found very many that are not themed they, they do a really good job of updating and uh, and theming pretty much uh, most of the stuff that's out so that's it I tried to keep it as short as possible um, and I will see you on the next one